I seat myself in my black classroom with my black professor and comfortability settles next to me. Ain't many chances I get to feel cradled like this in a room full of people who know this history. Then the brother to my left fixes his mouth to shatter my safety, opens his jaw just wide enough to spit the rocks out, and I'm reminded that ain't no room black enough to cradle my black woman too. He says, the Nate Parker situation, like it's a secret. Like a rapist deserves discretion because he made a movie. Like this nation ain't just birthed my trauma. Like it's a bullet point, like it ain't a bullet and he calls him an artist. A man trying to empower the people says it's convenient. Says acquittal like black folk have ever trusted the court system. Like we ain't seen men acquitted with blood still dripping from their teeth. Known the system to pardon the wolf when the lamb still bears the teeth marks. Yet he says allegedly, and allegedly, and allegedly, and allegedly want to break his teeth, snap the tongue in half for its traitorous question and cry, till I filled his mouth with my tears and he drowns in salt water in an ocean larger than the one that brought us both here because I know now what dirt his hands may not wash clean, I know now what spines he might have stepped on that bent and broke like mine, and I know now the foreign language of consent the two-way door he must think no is because to defend a rapist is to see something of yourself in him. <laughs> to doubt women is to see nothing of your sisters in them. And I will not apologize for the thick line drawn in the sand, how each grain is an injustice I intend to trample, how every word from an apologist's mouth is one I intend to shove down their throats. I will not apologize for the rage the trauma triggers out of me. I cannot look him in the eye, knowing the monster I see him as, the angry black womanist he knows me to be, with my unrepentant pettiness, how I insist on trusting women this time and every time, how I will not let a man flourish at the expense of my pain, how I let my emotions cloud the situation and the room, how I hope he'd choke on it. I have lost my faith in men again, and I will not mourn it this time. <laughs>